It's the next day now, August 23rd. Got enough time before the sun goes down to get a nice session in. I got a fresh, fresh edge, fresh tip on my pressure flaker. I'm gonna start working on this face today from the tip few pressure flakes and then try to get a whole you know a nice series of indirect flakes to really thin down you because you can see is it all on camera <laughs> you can see how this face that I was working on is fairly flat you know plano and then this this face is a little kind of convex that way um, yeah so I'll try and flatten that out today and then I can even out this face and this part here later on all right not a lot of talking I'm not gonna be looking at the camera I think I've got the angle a little bit better today yesterday was wasn't working out the greatest but yeah okay I'm gonna you know try and just nap not worry about the camera because that always messes with me Try and isolate that platform a little bit there, and maybe get rid of that spot. Yeah, I think that's better. That little bit was kind of in the way, it was right there, and uh, my indirect punch would have contacted that probably and yes it's true I have not cut my fingernails yet they're getting pretty long don't judge me please <laughs> I guess. Even though I was just doing this yesterday, I always just rush right into it without taking any practice swings. a real good one.
platform might have been a little bit strong on it, but it's all right. edge was a little too strong and yeah just not quite set up properly pretty strong one but I'm gonna try and take out all of this with this flake gotta try and try and angle it back a little towards the tip normally I'm going towards the, the base away from me so I think I'll I'll hold it the same way, I'll just adjust it the way I angle it. Rather I'll use the same part of the, you know, the punch face that I have been. Just try and angle it back that way a little more. into pieces but yeah I'll take it came out to over the other side where I wanted it to even though it left a tiny kind of hinge there should be able to fix it up a little later from the other side here the other edge
it's probably a good opportunity to take an indirect flake. I was thinking about pressure flaking it off, but I will take advantage. Just isolate the platform a little more. those nice isolated platforms I don't need to hit it as hard I think that was the issue last time I tried this Hit that one too hard, and that worked out pretty well. That made a scary sound. I thought it broke in half. Jeez. But that was just a really flat, wide, almost perfect flake. Started waving out a little bit near the end, but, you know, perfect over face to right there. Yeah, cool. Whew. My heart rate went up a little bit there after that sound. That snap really really sounded bad.
this edge is getting a little bit better. At almost 17 minutes already. Okay, I'm gonna try and take some flakes from the other edge now. Even though this edge is a little bit wonky right now, but I can fix all that later on. Rather, right now. I think I'll do the same thing and come from the tip, work my way down towards the base. looking at this face because I meant to yeah meant to say I need to take the flakes off this way I think I'll start right here Might as well fix up the tip a little bit. While I'm up here. Tip is looking much better there. Now I can work my way back this way.
That angle's okay. Maybe I can just isolate it a little better. Yeah, that does. scary noises but really nice flakes maybe it's just because I usually don't take a lot of risks like this late in the process but I'm still aggressively thinning this piece instead of just you know only thinking about smoothing everything out at this stage which is what I kind of usually do decided to take the plunge, try to get a thinner piece than I've ever gotten before. That's my goal pretty much every time I flint nap, but I've got the mindset now to just really really take off with it I think it's all about taking those risks stepping outside my comfort zone you know flint napping comfort zone that's a pretty heavy platform I'll just pressure flake that for now fix it up pretty nice flake anyways
fix this face coming back afterwards. of a weird little one, but it worked. Okay, this has got to be the good one here. Straight across. <laughs> well, okay. Got the angle a little bit wrong, but more or less worked out. bunch of birds up on the roof they sound much larger than they are they're small kind of sparrow sized birds Maybe I'm just getting a little tired, but I'm not quite connecting with those indirect strikes right now. start using a different different part of the face here just want to go straight across nice that's better Okay, I'm gonna make that one the last flake of this video. Jeez, I'm over 30 minutes, wow. Yeah, so that was that one right there that really flattened out the backside there. Now I can, yeah. Take a series of flakes this way, maybe another one that way, this way. And then that way, pressure flakes. I won't probably won't do a lot of a lot more indirect percussion, but a little bit. Hope that was on camera. Yeah. Okay, made some pretty good progress today. Getting pretty close to the finished product. Uh, like I said in the other videos, I'm gonna auction this one off. 
not quite sure how I'm gonna do that exactly. Maybe I can just, you know, do it in the comments section of the videos. So, if you've made it this far into this video, thanks for watching. If you feel like buying this piece, put a put a comment down in the comment section with your bid or you can email it to me at prehistoricliving at gmail.com and uh, we'll see what happens yeah okay that's it for now as always thanks for watching catch you next time cheers <laughs>